What's up everybody and welcome to another video, this is me Ada and today I want to talk about my thoughts on the game called No Man's Sky. I have about 2 hours into the game, maybe a little bit more, and I think I'm ready to give my personal, I guess, review or thoughts on the game itself. So as you know, this is basically probably the most hyped game of 2016, um, you've probably seen it on EA Games, um, IGN and you know, all the popular websites or whatnot. And you know, there have been a lot of promises with the game. From what I remember, they promised the multiplayer is the biggest basically thing about the game. And people waited for this shit, right? And then when it comes out, we find out it's not really multiplayer. It's kind of like semi multiplayer in a way where you can basically discover the planets and name them and animals and shit and upload it to the database. But there is no way you can meet with your friend, for example, whether you're playing PC or PS4. And that's kind of turn off, um, and that's kind of bullshit. Because I remember the developer, the developers promising the multiplayer. So first of all, before we begin, let's kind of check out the Steam page and maybe watch throughout the review. I mean, the trailer of the game. Like, let's see. Or well, you don't really have to do that. You've probably seen it yourself. But as you can see, like there's like multiple ships like when you leave oh shit. when you leave um, the planet there's different jets or spaceships flying around you might think it's your friends but probably NPCs and I actually never experienced any NPCs with me probably because I'm only two hours into the game and um, yeah so there is a list actually you can find on the reddit which says, where is the No Man's Sky we were sold on? Front page stick post, oh, yeah. So basically there is a post which I will leave a link in the description which will say um, all the bullshit we heard from the developers and stuff like that. So we're gonna start from this, space gameplay and elements. First of all, landing on asteroids. They're actually, um, the interview with the developer where he says, yep, you can land on the asteroid and I'll show you the quick video. Let's see. Now, can you land on a comet? Yeah, at the moment. Look at this motherfucker. Can you do this? My ass. And that never happened. There is no way can you there is no way you can land on the asteroid. Even though he said yes, currently you can. So they either removed it or he probably bullshitted us. And I think that was a bullshit. Then destroying space stations and fleets. Um, giant fleets of ships, large freighters actually moving. Um, you know, there's all these proofs that this is a bullshit. You see? So, as you can see, there's a lot of bullshit we heard from developers, um, and it's all confirmed. And uh, the main thing is just for me, I guess, is the multiplayer. And for all of you guys, um, that's kind of played the biggest role because it's like basically open world, procedurally generated, fucking lies, not the world where you can, you know, go anywhere. There's like just infinite space, basically. And people thought that they can play with their friends. And that's basically how the game sold on. And how did they do so? It's just. They did a really good job in marketing, in my opinion, and that's how it got super really fucking hyped. So many interviews and whatnot, promises, you know, typical developer bullshit, and yeah. Other issue I have, or the main issue, is the fucking price tag, okay? 60 bucks for fucking overly grinding game is too much. Like, first, maybe first hour you play, will be satisfied, you know, there's beautiful graphics, nice physics, you know, beautiful worlds and whatnot. Um, decent optimization, I guess. Um, it's kind of fun, it's interesting, you know, it's different. But if you play for over an hour, you can find yourself grinding over and over for fucking resources for your ship, because this motherfucker doesn't last shit. Um, you have to refuel it when you turn the hyperdrive and whatnot, you know, and shit like that. And basically all planets are kind of the same, I mean NPC might be different, but there's always this fucking, let me see if I can find this. There's drones, which are really annoying, like when you go 
look for resources or when you harvest for resources this counts just start attacking you it's like come on really you have to do this kind of shit and I so far I probably traveled through like three or four different planets maybe more and this robots somehow everywhere so that's kind of bullshit um, but from what you can see from the page I mean it was released not even a week ago for PC and it already has like half of negative reviews and this is not only not all the owners and as you can see like I'm going to the page without going to the most helpful or negative or whatnot I'm gonna stop this it has basically negative 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 because this is a bullshit and as you can see it's procedurally generated lies and this is true and this is the biggest disappointment of 2016 that's for sure so if you wonder how much money they made so far um, you can go to the website called Steam Spy and from here you can access basically any search for the any game and see how many owners there are but of course this game is going to be number one for now score rank is 16 owners holy fuck it's a lot of owners for this price tag so say they are so 700,000 owners on the calculator oh it's already opened so 700,000 times 60 dollars so this cunts made basically 42 million dollars probably less count on the, pro the expenses and whatnot but they made quite a bank from all of us players from the lice so should you pay sixty dollars for the game such this fuck no price tag for this game might be around twenty dollars tops um, especially because it's not even on early access as you can see with all the lights and bullshit so but who is this game for it's probably for people that like grinding um, looking for resources and exploring you know it's a beautiful game to explore but it's doing the same thing over and over and I don't like that and I would have made a video by the way um, but somehow my software I'm using didn't record and I didn't even bother fucking with the fraps because I don't really like this shit so yeah that's about it guys I'll leave the links to Steam Spy Reddit page and of course Steam page for you to review thanks for watching and if you have anything to say let me know peace out guys see you later